How's it going, guys? This is Dan Can Bake It. I'm Dan Langan, and I'm back this week with another baking challenge, fresh from Food Network. Feels super duper light. Definitely not a new apron. <laughs> see what this says, though. Make a cake with vertical layers. I got it. That's a challenge in and of itself because every cake I put together that I've ever seen always has horizontal layers. Like the cakes lay this way. That's how gravity works. That's how cakes are put together. I think for this, I definitely have to dig deep into my recipe box and find a cake that's a little bit lighter so that hopefully when I stand these cake layers up, they actually stay vertical. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up with horizontal cake layers and this whole challenge will be like out the window. Maybe I'll change into my new shirt here and I'm gonna start brainstorming for this challenge. So after my brainstorming, I decided that I'm going to make a lemon sponge cake, and I think that's gonna be the perfect cake base to create this vertical layer cake because it's spongy, it's nice and fluffy, there's a lot of air in there and it barely weighs anything. So I've got some heavy cream, I just microwaved it for about a minute, just until it was warm and steamy. And to that, I'm gonna add some all-purpose flour. I've got some baking powder for rise, and I also just threw some salt in there. So I'm gonna whisk this all together, and that hot cream is gonna hydrate all of those flour particles and give me this nice paste. It's gonna get really doughy. Then once there's no flour left, I'm gonna add in all of my egg yolks. I've also got the zest of a couple of lemons for a nice bright citrusy flavor and some lemon extract. And then finally, just a touch of vanilla extract because I feel like I can't make a cake without vanilla. And then I'll whisk this all until it's really smooth. So for a sponge cake, it's really important that you separate your eggs because you can actually incorporate more air into your batter by separating the eggs and then whipping the whites as opposed to just adding the eggs all at once. You lose that whole opportunity to force a bunch of air into your cake. So that looks nice and smooth. It looks like a nice thick cake batter. I've got my stand mixer here. I just fitted it with my whip attachment. I've got all of my egg whites. So I'll pour those in. So now that my egg whites are looking nice and foamy, they've lightened a little bit. What I'm gonna do is add in just a little bit of white vinegar. So here I have some granulated white sugar and I'll just sprinkle this in over the course of maybe 20, 30 seconds. I don't wanna dump it in all at once because I don't wanna weigh down those egg whites. All right, we're there now, I can tell. So that looks perfect. It stands up except for this little itty bitty tip right at the top. So I like to add a meringue to a cake batter in thirds. So the first third you always say is just to lighten up the mixture. And then once that's practically combined, I'll add another third. So I can already smell the lemon, all that lemon extract and that beautiful lemon zest is already perfuming this cake batter. So I'll add in the rest of my egg whites. I'll make sure I scrape them all out of here. I just wanna fold really gently at this point. All right, so that looks absolutely beautiful. It's really thick and it looks like a lot of cake batter, but it's actually super light. I would say more than half of that is probably just air, which is exactly what I'm looking for to make this super fluffy light cake. So I'll grab my offset spatula and I just wanna try and get this as even as possible. This cake bakes so quickly. So I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and this will take about 15 minutes to bake. It's gonna rise up, it'll get a nice golden brown color to it. And when I press it, it's gonna spring right back. At that point, I'll just pull it out of the oven and I'll let it cool. My lemon sponge is in the oven, and while that's baking, I'm going to get started on my raspberry buttercream, which starts with a cooked raspberry sauce. So what I have here is a saucepan that I'll put over medium heat, and I have some frozen raspberries. To my raspberries, I'm going to add just a little touch of sugar for sweetness, just a little bit of lemon juice from half a lemon. I'll strain it over. And I've also got a touch of water here. That's gonna help that heat distribute and get these berries nice and syrupy and nice and sizzly. I just wanna stir this and keep an eye on it. It'll probably take about 10 minutes. All right, so this raspberry sauce is looking great. It's actually almost looking like a raspberry jam, so it's nice and thick. It's gonna add awesome flavor to my buttercream. What I wanna do, though, is just send it through a strainer just to get rid of some of that pulp and those seeds just so I have a nice 
clear raspberry syrup to my buttercream. So I'll just push this through the strainer. I'll get all of that gorgeous raspberry juice and flavor out of here. And now it's time to get started on my buttercream. So I've got my mixer bowl. I've got some sifted confectioner sugar. So to my powdered sugar, I'm going to add some pasteurized egg whites and I have a little bit of vanilla extract. Put my bowl in place. So I'm going to grab some really soft, unsalted butter. Beautiful, so this is cooled down. It's just lukewarm, it's definitely not cold. You never wanna add anything cold to a buttercream because it's gonna cause the butter to seize up. I'm also gonna add my secret ingredient. Whenever I make a raspberry flavored buttercream, I always like to add a little shot of orange liqueur because I think it really brightens up that raspberry flavor. So I'll whip this together on low. All right, that is it. So it's nice and fluffy. It looks super light. It's really airy. It looks absolutely luscious and silky smooth. So I have my cake here, and I'll cut straight down for this first strip. All right, so I have three separate cuts, and I'm just going to frost this entire cake like one big sheet cake, almost like it's not even cut up. So I think this looks pretty even, so what I'm going to do now is remember that I have my three strips, and I'm just gonna start rolling the cake. I end up with one mini roll cake here, and you can already see the layers of the cake and the buttercream. It looks so cool just like this, but I'm gonna keep the party going. So even just like this, this looks so awesome. I'm going to place it on a cake board. Now my layers are vertical. They're no longer horizontal. If I see any spots, just like right here, I will just fill that in with some buttercream. So I think what I'll do is start with just a little bit of buttercream on the top. All right, so now I'll frost the sides. And I'll grab my metal cake scraper. So now what I'll do is kind of this cool buttercream trick that'll give the cake these neat ridges. I'm gonna hold my scraper just like I had it, but I'm gonna tap it back and forth as I turn the cake. And it usually makes this pretty cool design. If not, you can just go back over it again. Ah, just like that. I think it looks super cool. It's this great texture. So now I'll just scrape the edges of this buttercream in. I want a nice clean top edge because I'm gonna pipe some buttercream on top of this cake to finish it off. So now on to my pastry bag. I'll make sure it's nice and twisted at the top. I have a large open star tip fitted at the end of the pastry bag. And I'm just gonna start with an outer ring of pipe dollops and then I'll work my way all the way to the center. I'm loving this pink hue, this almost really natural pastel pink that I got from the raspberry buttercream, but what I wanna do to finish this off and really give it another pop of color is take some crushed up freeze-dried raspberries. So I'll sprinkle these on top of the cake to give a nice, bright, fresh pop of color right on top. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Vertical layers, there they are. It worked. So it's like four perfect layers of this lemon sponge cake and then all of this gorgeous pink raspberry buttercream. I'm gonna go in for some of this buttercream first. Legit, it tastes like raspberry ice cream. I'm actually really surprised how much flavor is packed into this bite of cake considering how light everything is. The cake is so spongy, the buttercream is just like so airy. Vertical layer cake, check. Definitely add in this recipe to my recipe box. So I think it's safe to say that I nailed this vertical layer cake challenge, but if you guys have a challenge you think will stump me, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Food Network on YouTube.